Hi, I'm Sandra from Source Outreach Ministries, and we're bringing you this wonderful series on overcoming the flesh. This series is something that you may have never experienced before. This is one of the toughest uh, series that I have put together. Um, even for myself, I have grown from it, I have learned from it, and even experienced from it. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we had last week the introduction by Gina uh, for giving you a little highlights of what's coming and what it's all about. And before we start this series, I because it's a very heavy series, it's a very deep series of change. If you take this series, you will change. Your life will change dramatically and it will be wonderful. It will be something that you'll be so glad that you did this series because your life now is going to be fulfilled for for you uh, so I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to um, let anything out I want you to experience it as it's as it comes but I just wanted to give you a little prelude and it's a little uh, humor humor because this is a deep serious study um, sometimes you're not gonna like what you hear Sometimes it can be hard for you to take it, to receive it. And so I just wanted to start this out with a little bit of humor from one of our uh, people out there in the world of God that all of us go through this. All of us go through overcoming our fleshly nature. And I just wanted to share with you from her perspective what it's about. Okay, so enjoy this video. Colossians 3, 5. So kill. <laughs> if you won't take it from me, maybe you'll take it from Jesus. I don't know. So kill, dead and deprive of power, the evil desire lurking in your members. Those animal impulses and all that is earthly in you that is employed in sin, sexual vice, impurity, sensual appetites, unholy desires, all greed, all covetous. And on and on and on and on. So he's saying all these fleshly ways, they got to die. They got to go. Kill them. Now, I found the easiest way to kill anything. You want me to tell you what it is? How many of you want to know? Stop feeding it. I mean, even a weed will die if you never give it any sunshine or water. Anything dies if you don't feed it. And I'm telling you, I have, I have found out, let, let's just, okay, here, let's just take for example. I had a really bad problem talking back to my husband. Now I just have a little tiny problem in that area. <laughs> no, I'm pretty good. I, I, am I pretty good? I don't have that problem now. No, he said I don't have that problem now. See, yay for Dave. Okay. I mean, I, I just could not keep my mouth shut. I had to have last word. Okay, I know you're not like that, but I just and and even if I didn't say it out loud, when I got to the point where I could keep my mouth shut in front of him, then I'd walk away and hey, you know, me think you're right. You gotta be right. Yeah. And so here's, here's what happens. You have the Holy Spirit in you. Satan comes against you with temptation. You're trying to be a good little sheep. You got the shepherd. You just want to say, bah, but you keep saying, but, 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 but. <laughs> but God is just not fair. But God, he does. And but God, she does. <laughs> Come on. And he just wants to hear Yes, Lord, your will be done. You'll take care of all the rest. Amen. So Dave's doing something I don't like. I feel the words coming. <laughs> Come on. I got a witness. I got a sister in the house. You feel the words coming. Now, right about here, the Holy Spirit says, And 
and, and you know, I mean, God, you heard the message, you bought the CD, you got the T-shirt. I mean, you, you, you know, it's like, okay. So you got this split second decision. Are you going to just go ahead and <laughs> and then go through, oh, I feel so bad about it, the guilty and condemned. And then you get to take the test over. God is so awesome. You never fail. You just get to keep taking the same tests over and over and over. A million times you take this test. So just to fast forward this, the thing that I finally found out is if, if, if when I got about right here, if I would just start saying inside, God, help me, help me, God, help me, help me. See, you can't try to do it on your own. This is the thing. If you try to do it on your own, it insults God. Because he wants to be involved in everything. There he is. Wants to be in it all. So he wants you to say, help me, God, I can't do this without you. So then when you do that, then even though it's still hard, it's really hard, you can manage to keep your mouth shut. Maybe you've got to get out of the room, but you can manage to keep your mouth shut. Okay, so now, same thing happens a week from now. You go through the same thing again. Only this time now, it's just a tiny bit easier. Not much. You can't even hardly notice it, but it's a tiny, tiny bit easier. And then by the time you get to do that about a hundred times, it ain't so bad anymore. That's how you kill the flesh. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, she puts it in a, in a humorous perspective, but it is so real that this is a process you're going to go through when you study with me in these lessons we're going to present to you. It's a process. It's going to be hard at first, but it's going to get easier and easier and easier for you. And pretty soon you're going to go, wow, I don't do that anymore. I'm much better now. Wow, so I just um, wanted to give you a little bit of humor to start because next week we're going to go to our first lesson and that's the day that you're going to give your salvation to Jesus. You're going to ask for salvation and that's what you must do first before overcoming the flesh. You have to give your life to Jesus. So this is a commitment. This um, lesson is a lifelong change. It's a commitment but we're going to give you all the tools so that you can be successful. So thank you for watching today. God bless you, and we'll see you next week.